James Connolly, given to his daughter Nora Connolly on eve of his murder by the British, to the field general court martial held in Dublin Castle on May 9th, 1916. I do not wish to make any defence except against charges of wanton cruelty to prisoners. These trifling allegations that have been made, if they record facts that really happened, deal only with the utmost unavoidable incidents of a hurried uprising against long-established authority and nowhere show evidence of set purpose to wanton injure unarmed persons. We went out to break the connection between this country and the British Empire and to establish an Irish Republic. We believed that the call we then issued to the people of Ireland was a nobler call in a holier cause. And to establish an Irish Republic, we believed that the call we then issued to the people of Ireland was a nobler call in a holier cause than any call issued to them during this war having any connection with the war. We succeeded in providing that Irish men are ready to die endeavouring to win for Ireland those national rights which the British government has been asking them to die to win for Belgium. As long as that remains the case, the cause of Irish freedom is safe. Believing that the British government has no right in Ireland never had any right in Ireland, and never can have any right in Ireland, the presence in any one generation of Irishmen, or even a respectable minority, ready to die to affirm that truth, makes that government forever usurpation and a crime against human progress. I personally thank God that I have lived to see the day when thousands of Irish men and boys and hundreds of Irish women and girls were ready to affirm that truth and to attest it with their lives if need be. James Connolly, Commandant General, Dublin Division, Army of the Irish Republic, 1916-1918.